Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sani of LS Web Apps and in today's video we're going to take a, a look at um, how to create a jQuery um, automatic load content plugin using Ajax, okay? So basically what's going to happen is that um, we're going to create a plugin wherein uh, content will be automatically loaded um, in using Ajax and um, that will help our page to load faster and um, you can actually apply this functionality using links as well and I'll show you that. So for now just a simple um, showcase of how the plugin works is when you refresh the content here will be loaded automatically um, using ajax so in that case your page will load fast and then ajax will work on the page and um, load the rest of the content okay so with that out of the way let's go ahead and build our plugin so here we are in our text editor um, i am using visual studio code um, okay so i've gone ahead and done some setup work up front so i've created an index.html and um, i've added the jquery plugin from the jquery website and i've created another plugin.js file this is where we're going to write our plugin file and i've created another um, file server.php that's what we're going to load through ajax and basically all this file is doing is looping from 1 to 20 and just um listing out list elements um using this run function here multiplied by uh, this number okay so that's what's going to be loaded in through ajax okay so let me just show you what's coming in from this file so what we're going to do is we're going to load in a temporary php server so i'm going to load up the command line in this um, visual studio code editor here okay so i'm going to do php dash s localhost 2007 okay and i'm going to press enter so in our um, browser here I'm just going to close up the first window that I was using to showcase the example and now we're going to go to localhost 2007 so localhost 2007 okay so right now um, this is all we have in the page because we haven't created the plugin yet and uh, I'm going to go to forward slash server dot php okay so this is what's going to be loading into ajax so anytime we refresh we're going to be getting random numbers here lists of um, list elements okay so I'm going to go back Okay, so now let's go ahead and write our plugin. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to come in plugin.js um, and then we're gonna write an anonymous self-executing function. So we're gonna do function and then we're gonna automatically execute it and pass in the jQuery handler. Okay, so then we're gonna pass in dollar sign here. So first thing is let's do dollar dot function. If you remember how to write jQuery plugins, you do dollar dot function and the name of your plugin okay so let's do load content that's gonna be um our jquery function and we're gonna do first to anonymous function okay so first thing we need to do always remember to return this okay so this is the jquery element that you've selected and then next um let's create a function but before we do that um let's just do new um load content okay and i'll show you what that is in a moment load content okay so inside there we're gonna pass in um the element which is this so always this inside of a farm plugin is um the sort of selected element and we're gonna pass in options okay so the options will be passed in when you um instantiating or using the um, plugin okay so it's gonna be options all right so the options will have um two items in there and one will be uh it's gonna be an object which is url and that's going to be something like http or something like server.php in our case and we're going to have something called delay so basically um it's going to be in milliseconds um basically if you want to put a delay before the ajax calls gets made and the content is loaded um you put a delay in there okay so um let's go ahead and actually write this load content function let's copy that and come on the top here and let's do function load content okay just note that this load content is different from load content here okay this is part of jquery and this is just a function we're creating to help us um, easily um contain our methods for um, this um, plugin here okay so we're gonna call it load content and it's gonna accept two um, arguments one is element and one is options so first thing we need to do is let's store the, um, the element so this dot element equals to element this dot options equals to options okay 
so next thing that we need to do is we need to do a dollar dot get dollar dot ajax sorry and then um we need to pass in an object in there with two um, arguments which is url and that's going to be this dot options dot url and the next is um success that's going to be an anonymous function but um we're just not going to do the processing in here but we're going that um um, accepts uh, another parameter which is the results coming in from the ajax request okay so let's do response okay but in here instead of doing some processing and replacing the content we're gonna pass that to another sub function of this function okay so let's do load content dot prototype dot um handle ajax request or response maybe. And that's equals to a function okay and that's going to accept a response here okay so in here let's do um, var self equals to this so we get instance of this function up here okay so self we're gonna copy that and then we're gonna call self dot handle Ajax response and then we're gonna pass in response okay so in here now, let's do var self equals to this. And then we're gonna do if um, this dot options, we're gonna check if the delay option has been passed. If delay has been passed, then we're gonna do set timeout. And then we're gonna pass in um, function. And then we're gonna pass in um, self or this dot options dot delay okay so that would be the milliseconds if you know how timeout works you pass in an anonymous function and then you pass in the delay in milliseconds okay so it's in here that we're going to um, do self dot element dot html and that's going to be the response okay or else if the uh, delay um, option was not passed then we're just gonna do um, this dot element dot html and it's going to be response okay so that's just something that i wanted to show you um this checking of um delays you can do it in here when setting the ajax response or you can do it up here so you can do if um this dot delay dot uh, this dot options so basically you can check put it before calling the ajax response or after you are uh, called the ajax response so it's all left to you okay but i just thought that it's a good um place to put it here after making the ajax response then you just wait a few seconds then then you output the um you place in the response coming in from the server okay so um let's just have a quick look so we're setting the elements and the options making the ajax request and then handling it here and then setting it whether there's a response and if there's no resp um sorry whether there's a delay and if there's no delay then we just go ahead and set it um automatically or immediately when there is no delay option passed in okay so let's go to um our index.html here so what we're going to do is where it says use the plugin we're going to select um the id um of content here we're going to do hashtag content and then we're going to do load content and then we're going to pass in options url it's going to be server.php and then the delay is going to be 2000 milliseconds okay so i'm going to come to um, the browser here and i'm going to refresh if everything works fine it should um, load our content using ajax and then fill it in our um, content id there okay so let's look at the network tab here when i refresh um, as you can see server.php is being sent an ajax request and the preview um, part here is what is coming in from the server and um, response here is pretty much the same so we're getting a ul with a list of um, li tags there okay so um let's just refresh this once more as you can see boom it works okay so let me just show you that you can do do this um when you click a link as well okay so what you can do is if you want to set it up on a link let's um put something here let's say p and then inside there let's put a let's say um 
server.php and then let's do load content so basically it's going to happen when it's going to load the content when we click on this link okay so let's do dollar sign a dot on click okay and um, for best practice remember you have to do your document already document already guys never forget that I forgot to put it there but I'm um, so it's good practice to do so so I'm quickly just going to do that and I'm gonna move this up here so basically we're setting the event handler when the document is ready okay so we select the um, a element here and I'm saying on click then we're gonna say var URL equals to um, so let's say dollar this dot attribute href okay basically we're getting the um, href element of this link here when it's been clicked and then we're calling the plugin there okay so let's say dollar and let's say content um, dot load content and then um, what we're going to do is url url and then delay it's going to be 1000 milliseconds okay so finally don't forget to um, do either prevent default basically so that the link will not follow the url so let's do either prevent default okay so let's come here refresh as you can see the content has not been loaded but when i click it should go ahead and load that content okay so you can set that up as many times as you want um you can use the plugin many times so i'm just going to duplicate um this basically i'm just going to copy that and then let's say content to load content to okay so let's um go ahead and um say okay let's say put classes here equals to um say loader one and let's put another class here called loader two okay or even better yet let's put say uh, data content equals to so basically we're just linking this to this id here let's do a hashtag content and here let's do data loader equals to hashtag content two because it's going to be more reusable instead of just targeting this link element individually we're just going to get their data loader okay so now next instead of just url we're going to do um content selector equal to um so let's do dollar sign this dot uh, attribute let's do data loader okay so content selector just copy that so instead of just content here we're gonna just do um content selector and yeah boom that's it let's come over here and refresh so when i do load content it should get that um, attribute and um load the content up there but obviously an error occurred so let's see what happened so load content boom nothing happened okay so it's working for the second one but not for the first one okay let's see what happened so data um loader okay i made a mistake it should not be um it should not be content up here it should be data loader for that as well because that's what we're selecting in attributes here okay so let's go and refresh now when i click this after one second it should load the data for that when i click this after one second it should load the data for the second content as well okay and this is reusable um in many ways it's not the only use case and i urge you to go ahead and extend this plugin even further and um, add more options like fade and stuff like that and um yeah so um thank you for watching um i hope this video is useful if it was please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon cheers bye bye